And today we're going to be doing our first GCSE mock paper. OK, I'm going to hand them out now if you take one and pass them back. It's the run-up to exams, an important time for all students. Just to remind you, you don't need to panic, it's not a real GCSE exam. It's just here to help me assess whereabouts you are in terms of knowledge and understanding and to give you some practice with the types of questions that you will get in your actual GCSEs. You'll have 15 minutes to do the tests and when I say you may turn your papers over. OK. Jasmine has been identified by the school as an aggressive student with anger management problems. What's the matter, Jasmine? You're such a bitch. How do you expect me to do this? In consultation with her teachers, there is an established protocol for dealing with her outbursts. Many, we can get Mrs. James for me, please. Can I just remind you, the rest of you are under test conditions. You've got 45 minutes still remaining. I'm not going back in there. I can't even do the first three. OK, OK, Jasmine. One of the most important aims for the immediate intervention is to get Jasmine back into the classroom. Jasmine, we've done question three last week. Why don't we go and work through it together? OK, let's go in and we'll deal with the language later. I actually thought there was a lot that she dealt really well with in, the, in that scene. And I, I'm thinking, you know, in terms of differentiation, we differentiate a great deal for learning. Mm. And that was an example to me about differentiating for behaviour. Mm. What is clear, which was good, was that a protocol has been developed. So, yeah. you know, which means that with staff, with teaching staff, with That's support right. staff and everything, that, you know, they've come to this agreement mm. about Jasmine and how to react to her behaviour. Yeah. And you know, that word consultation is something that's such in, so important in those situations when you're differentiating for different kind of students' needs in terms of learning, but also in terms of their behaviour. You know, she does say at the end that she's going to address that behaviour at a later date. She doesn't let her get away with it. And I think if the class is aware that that situation is going to be dealt with and they're aware as well as the protocols that are going on, they're not feeling, oh, she can get away with it, then I can say it and I can get away with it. I think whenever you've got one student who's particularly aggressive in a classroom and you've got a particular behaviour plan around them, it's really important that the other students understand why it's happening. Because, yeah. um, I mean, one of the things for, for me, my job, a lot, a lot of the time when I go into schools, I'm dealing with kids like Jasmine, I will get um, responses such as, well, um, it's not fair, you know, how's she getting to get away That's with right. that, yeah. you know, get, yeah. and actually she's not getting away with anything and as long as you know that and that's made very, that's very clear and explicit to everybody yeah. else who's involved in the programme, yeah. it's fine. The words that she used were unacceptable, yes. but th that wasn't the time to deal with it there no. um, because they, the main purpose was to try and get her back into the exam situation. Yeah. So it was totally unacceptable and whether she's got those issues anyway, she's, that still needs to be dealt with, but mm -hmm. at a different time. Yeah. How the teacher dealt with it was very good because mm -hmm. she could have taken that personal, but she didn't. I was quite impressed with the fact that the teacher didn't seem to get hugely angry, not overtly, when she, when she got called a bitch. And I think that was very, yeah. very significant and important because she was able to hold on to that. But I mean, I know that that kind of abuse is hugely difficult to deal with. It makes you feel very vulnerable and it makes you feel extremely angry and you can get upset. I mean, the moment that you, you do take it personally, that's the moment that you start to, to lose it, yeah. you know, because it's not what we experience every day for most of us. We don't have that kind no, of abuse in real it. life. No. In schools you do because you've got a lot of adolescent kids who will mm -hmm. use that kind of abuse on a regular basis. And the majority of the time it isn't directed at that teacher. It no. isn't personal. No. No. And I think that's what we've got to always remember, that it isn't actually focused on us. There's other issues going on. Yeah. Um, and she was right. She had an issue that she had to deal with. It wasn't the issue at that time about her personal, what she'd yeah. been called. The yeah. issue was the exam, getting that dealt with. It's the same for the students, isn't it? It's about that teacher holding on to her anxiety and anger at that moment in time. Yeah. And it's much easier to do that if you know there's a protocol and it's going to get sorted later on yeah. and it, it will be discussed and yeah. reparations will be made. When dealing with an aggressive student, it may be necessary to differentiate for behaviour, prioritising your objectives for the student. Also, any behaviour plan should be communicated to staff and fellow students. 